They demonetized my last video because I think I played this song. So I'm going to cut it short. I don't think this sounds like the song anymore, but maybe they'll demonetize this one. Who knows? HBO needs the money. Okay. I cut it short because last time when I sang the intro, uh, I got a demonetization on that video. Um, I thought, well, that was kind of bullshit. Anyway, this video is about uh, what can drive a woman insane. Basically, we're talking about uh, uh, Daenerys uh, Targaryen. What a great name. She has a great name. Everybody in, in uh, Game of Thrones has good names. They have like names like Jamie Lannister and... Uh, the Hound, and uh, everybody has a cool cool name. Stark, the Starks, and uh, Rhaegar Targaryen, and all these great names. I got Cecil. That's the one I got. What kind of horseshit is that? I should punch my mother in the mouth. Um, Cecil. It's so nerdy, I feel like punching me. I feel like punching myself and taking my lunch money, which is a lot. I eat a big lunch every day. Anyway, uh, the, the uh, idea is, um, you know, what drove her nuts, and uh, she killed Varys. Even Varys had a good name. He didn't even have a dick. Um, Grey Worm has a shitty name, and he has no dick. I'll give him that. He, Grey, who wants Grey Worm? Anyway, well, in the book, he just wanted to keep it. It was a lowly name, and he was going to turn it around and make it count for something. That was kind of cool. But yeah, he had a shit name. Uh, so anyway, varies. That's the beginning of the episode where you start to see the madness of uh, of Danny because varies was OG. He was the original guy. He 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 saw, even though he was like the Lord of Deception and the, and the Lord of Whispers or whatever the hell they called him, and he was very a very deceptive and, and conniving guy, very smart and he schemed, but his intentions were always pure. His only life goal was to see the best person on the throne. And there was a time when he thought that was Danny, but he has an inside track on the Targaryens. He he was there when when the, the other one went fucking bananas and was burning people. Um so he knows what a mad Targaryen looks like. So he started to see it in her. He started to see that shit creeping out and he's like, uh, "I've seen this before. They're all inbred. All the Targaryens are inbred." I mean, listen, even by accident, she's fucking her nephew. By accident. They can't stop being inbred, these these Targaryens. They fucking, uh, you know, they love banging themselves. So, um, where was I? Anyway, so Vary saw that she was she was nuts. She, he, he, you know, he, he, he's seen it before. He's like, you know, and what happens? I mean, it's irony. He gets burned by another mad another mad Targary Targaryen. I mean, that's why Jamie stabbed the last Targaryen, uh, because he was burning people alive, and he was about to burn the whole town. So, uh, here comes the Targaryen. She finishes her father's work, you know? She burns the whole fucking town down. Um, so Varys was right. Uh, always trust chubby dudes with, uh, follicle problems. That's my, uh, advice to the world. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, so so he saw the shit, and and then he gets burned by the dragon. Um, I'm losing my place. I'm sitting in a car instead of inside. I was going to sit by a duck pond and record this video, but uh, there's a whole bunch of fucking construction workers d digging a trench. I don't know. I just wanted to see the ducks. Um, what the hell am I talking about? Oh yeah, what drove Danny bananas? Well, two things drove her crazy. She she lost her fucking hairdresser, Masunday or Masandra, whatever. They, they pronounce it Masunday on the on the show. Masunday, okay. Uh, anyway, that chick was like her handmaiden and her hairdresser, and you might think, oh, that wouldn't drive someone crazy, but think about it. Do you ever see the the braids that chick wears every week? It must take hours. Now she's sitting there braiding her hair like, holy shit, where the hell's Masunday? Uh, yeah, that's enough. To, just losing your hairdresser, and especially to watch your best hairdresser get her head chopped off, you know, by a chick who has, who wears a little short pixie cut. 
That's got to be, that's got to, that's uh, rubbing salt in the wound. It's like, bitch, what do you know about, about braids? Look at you with your Sandy Duncan haircut. What are you, Peter Pan? Get the fuck out of here. So uh, I understand why Danny went bananas from, from that. I, I, you, you know, she, she likes the braids. She, she wears the, and I, she looks, she looks good. I wonder if that just, if that's just like a hat, those braids, just like a, a, a wig that goes on her. It's got to be, right? She has brown hair, I think, in real life. Anyway, um, yeah, so yes, that is enough to drive somebody crazy, but there's a part two to this. Remember after she burned Vary, she's like, oh, she's feeling kind of horny. So, uh, you know, what would a Targaryen do when they're horny? Yeah, let me call my nephew in here. And at this point, she knows it's her fucking nephew, okay? And Jon Snow's like, uh, he was like, you know, he not tonight, baby, I got a headache. He was turned off by her because he just watched her uh, her burn varies. I mean, it was not like a a turn on situation. I mean, I guess some people it's their thing. I don't know, but he wasn't into it. Uh, I did chastise him for that. First of all, if Amelia Clark or or the, the 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 Khaleesi wants to fuck you, you you know, I don't care if she just burns some guy alive. You do it. So anyway, the loss of a hairdresser and the denial of the D. From Jon Snow, uh, this 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 woman was looking for Valerian Steel from him, and and she couldn't even get a kiss. Uh, I think the combination of those two things, that was it. If you, I I will I will set forth the the uh, the thesis that if you gave any woman a dragon, and then had her her favorite hairdresser get her head chopped off, and then also get turned down. I mean, she got turned down like Rose Tico did it by uh, Finn at the end of Last Jedi. If I say if any girl with a dragon who would, had those two things, loss of a hairdresser and turned down on the D, uh, I, I say a city's going to burn. A city is going to burn. Now, if you add a history of madness into the, uh, into the equation, the Targaryens are all insane. They're all inbred. You know, it's weird. If they're all good looking, usually you could tell the inbred, they're a little bit fucked up looking. Um... Like the royal family, look at King Charles or Prince Charles, and they all kind of look weird. They're all been banging their cousins for uh, centuries. The only one that looked good is is the kid who uh, who uh, married the the American uh, Meghan, who I think is is very good looking. I, I don't know. Some people don't like her, but I, I think she's very very attractive. I think both of them are. What's the other chick um, that the that the future king married? What the hell is her name again? I can't remember, but she's a brunette, gorgeous also. They, they got, so he's not that ba bad looking, the other one, but he looks a little goofy, uh, the, the one that's going to be king. I can't think of his name. I, I'm, I keep thinking of uh, Meghan Markle and, and her husband, uh, the redhead. The redhead, a ginger aside, he actually looks kind of good because apparently he, he was a uh, out of marriage, out of, you know, uh, an extramarital affair with Princess Di, who was okay. I thought she was, people gassed her up like she was, oh my, yeah, everybody looks good when they're sitting in a castle, but she was cute. I'll give her that. But um, the kid, the redhead kid, he's actually the best looking of the bunch. And the, the reason is it was because she was banging her, uh, her uh, horse, uh, instructor. She would like to take horseback riding. Yeah, who, no, who, no shit. If you're fucking married to Fr Prince Charles, I, I, I want to I go ride a fucking horse all day, get away from this guy. Anyway, she started banging the, uh, her, you know, her horse riding instructor, who was a, you know, a strapping, handsome guy. So that kid, the younger kid, he's actually the normal looking of the, of, that's it. You got to fucking spread out the bloodline a little bit. That's, where was I going with this? Why am I talking about this? Um, yeah, you've got to you, you, you've got to spread the, get get the gene pool a little deeper. Uh, so the Targaryens, their gene pool, that's what it was. The Targaryens are good looking, but normally they end up looking like Prince Charles, you know. Or it's it's, eh, you know, it's weird. But uh, Danny, you couldn't tell right away that she's inbred. But their brains are all fucking rotten to hell. So they're always like, what should we do today? And it's like, I don't know, burn everybody. It, they are on one track mind, but I guess that's why they were into dragons, right? So anyway, this is a, just a short video. I just wanted to say that, yes, Danny did go crazy, but I think the thing that sent her off the most is the combination of uh, losing your hairdresser and being denied the D from uh, Kit Harrington, who's a good-looking guy, right? I mean, it's not like... Well, actually, I guess it would be worse if it was a bad-looking guy. I don't know.
misandry. She just was dating a guy with no dick and she never went crazy. And she's the one who had to braid, braid that fucking hair all the time. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this, but uh, thank you for tuning in and please um, subscribe and I love you all. Bye.